What do you need? Guns. Lots of guns. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 weapon rooms in movies. Bitty bitty teeny weeny problems. Big fat ass problems. I got what you need. For this list, we'll be looking at the most intense weapon rooms so well stocked that audiences were left stunned by the array of firepower. We'll also be including weapon caches stored in smaller, larger, or multiple areas. Seen a more impressive weapons room? Let us know in the comments. Number 20. Hattori Hanzo's Showcase Room, Kill Bill Volume 1 When you're a world-class assassin out for revenge, you need top-shelf gear. In the world of Quentin Tarantino's Kill Bill movies, that doesn't necessarily mean guns. After recovering from a coma, Uma Thurman's Beatrix makes a beeline to Japan to meet with Hattori Hanzo. Hattori Hanzo ni ittai nan no yo desu ka? She informs him she has a vermin problem that only Hanzo Steel can solve. When he shows her his collection of katanas, she's in awe and eager to have one. After finding out she's on a quest to take down his former student, Bill, he says he'll make her a sword even though he's retired. Number 19. Asian K's Room Full of Shiny Weapons, Men in Black 2 In order to save the world from destruction, Agents K and J have to stop the alien Zerlina from getting the light of Zartha. The situation is worsened by the fact that she's taken over MIB headquarters. Before the duo can fight back, they have to make a stop to pick up some armaments. What's the book say about this one? We're off book. I say we split some wigs. We need some wig splitting weapons, got him. They head to Kay's former place where he has a huge stash of advanced weaponry hidden behind a living room wall. The family currently living there seems very chill about having strangers and aliens walk in, not to mention the revelation of having alien weapons right under their noses. See ya. Of course they're neuralized, so they'll continue to be unaware. Number 18, Mortimer's Saddle Blanket, for a few dollars more. When it comes to cinematic weapons caches, sometimes it's about quality, not quantity. In this sequel to A Fistful of Dollars, Clint Eastwood and Lee Van Cleef play a pair of rival bounty hunters. They're both after a ruthless escaped bank robber, El Indio. Van Cleef's Colonel Mortimer, though, is also out for revenge. In his introduction, Mortimer takes down a fleeing bandit by pulling a rifle out of his saddle blanket full of guns. He then converts his revolver into a longer range weapon. It's a wild way to meet a character, and this is a man not to be trifled with. Number 17, Rick Stuffelbag, The Mummy. Surviving the massacre of your French Foreign Legion regiment at a mystical desert tomb is enough to make any man paranoid. That's why Rick O'Connell likes to be prepared. When he is hired by Evie and Jonathan to guide them back to the site, the ancient city of Hamuna Aptra, he wants to be armed. He brings a duffel bag chock full of things that go bang. Are we going into battle? Lady, there's something out there. Something underneath that sand. And before the film ends, he uses them all. Still, when he comes face to face with an ancient supernatural terror, Rick learns to use any weapon at his disposal, even the four-legged furry kind. Look at I got. <gasps> Number 16, Big Daddy Study, Kick-Ass. It's fair to say that Hit Girl in the Kick-Ass films may need copious amounts of therapy. Raised from childhood by an embittered former cop, she is a brutal bite-sized tornado of death. Her father, Big Daddy, teaches her everything he knows about guns, bombs, and blades. Check this out. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you! Oh my god! Big Daddy's study is essentially a suburban dad's version of the Batcave. Every inch of the walls is stocked with guns and weapons of every kind. Do you want to deal with all my dad? And shut the hell up and pick your weapon. Since that's where her dad works while at home, it's no surprise that she grows up to become daddy's little killing machine. Number 15, The Surplus Store, 
Commando For years, Arnold Schwarzenegger's 80s classic Commando was famous for having one of the highest body counts in movie history. Schwarzenegger plays a retired specs op Colonel Matrix, whose team has been systematically killed by mercenaries. When his daughter is kidnapped, Matrix goes on the warpath. Where is she? Mellow out, man. We can't talk business with you waving guns in people's faces. Your daughter's safe, Colonel. Whether she stays that way is up to you. Along with flight attendant Sydney, Matrix heads to a surplus store to load up on guns, ammo, grenades, and a rocket launcher. Unfortunately, Matrix is picked up by the police on his way out, and is freed by Cindy in the most extreme way possible. Our only piece of advice is when using a rocket launcher, make sure it's pointing the right way. Number 14. The Classy Weapons Cache Kingsman – The Secret Service Inspired by the Q Division in Bond films, the private spies of Kingsman, the Secret Service, arm up and look good doing it. The Kingsmen are based out of a tailor's shop on the upscale Savile Row. Oh yes, very, very nice. In addition to the mandatory stockpile of guns and ammo, the Kingsmen have all kinds of gadgets concealed as sartorial swag. From poison-coated shoe blades to taser rings to grenade lighters, they walk into battle in style. What do these do? Electrocute you. Don't be ridiculous. It's a hand grenade. Shut up. You want to electrocute someone, you'll need a signet ring. Eggsy transforms from London Shav to Gentleman Spy and manages to save the world to boot. Number 13. Wei Lin's Hidden Armory. Tomorrow Never Dies. Media Baron Elliot Carver is trying to start an armed conflict between the UK and China. To prevent this, Bond must team up with his Chinese counterpart, Wei Lin. It's the Bond. It's Lin. Welcome to Saigon. It was always nice to see you, Elliot. After the two escape from Carver and his men, they end up in what looks to be a bike repair shop slash warehouse. They begin hatching a plan, and much to Bond's surprise, Wei Lin soon reveals hidden computers and, you guessed it, weapons. Stand up. It turns out she's just as well equipped as Q Division back in the UK. In fact, even Bond is startled by some innocuous looking items that turn out to be weapons. Number 12. The Hall of Armor – Iron Man 3 Taking on an invading alien force might leave you with some emotional scars. That's what happened to Tony Stark following the events of the Avengers. <laughs> He's been building versions of the Iron Man suit as a way to cope with what he's going through. While we get a glimpse of his Hall of Armor early on in the film, it's not until Tony orders Jarvis to control all the suits that the full scope of his metal army is revealed. Together, this armored legion takes down extremist soldiers with ease. Number 11. Jack Jeeb's Pawn Shop Men in Black. Before he was Agent J, he was NYPD officer James Edwards. An unknowing encounter with an alien brings Edwards in contact with Agent K. Did he say anything to you? Yeah, he said the world was coming to an end. Did he say when? Would you recognize that weapon of his if you saw it again? Absolutely. K takes him to Jack Jeeb's pawn shop to identify an alien weapon. Edwards knows Jeeves as someone who sells stolen merchandise, and thinks this is a waste of time. Of course, we quickly find out that Jeeves sells a lot more than just snatched chains. Show us the merchandise, you're gonna lose another head, Jeeves. With a push of a button, all sorts of alien guns appear all over the shop. Unfortunately, we don't get to see any of these used, but Kay carries some serious firepower in the trunk of his car. Number 10. Mr. Webley's Shed – Hot Fuzz When Constable Angel and company are sent to settle a dispute over a hedge being cut down, they quickly realize things aren't what they appear. After informing Mr. Webley that he can't cut other people's hedges, Angel questions if the old farmer has a license for his rifle. Mr. Webley, I trust you have a license for that firearm. I don't for this one. He does for this one. He does for this one. 
What do you mean by this one? This leads to the revelation that he has a shed packed full of firearms. When asked where he got all these weapons, he simply claims to have found them. It's incredible what he managed to find. There are loads of machine guns, shotguns, ammunition, and even an old World War II era sea mine. Well, Mr. Webley, this is an extremely dangerous collection. It's a wonder nobody's been hurt before. Nah, just a lot of junk. Number 9. The Fridge. The Heat. When it comes to funny gun rooms, few movies beat out 2013's The Heat. Melissa McCarthy's Shannon Mullins teams up with Sandra Bullock's FBI agent Sarah Ashburn. The two do not see eye to eye in how they conduct police work. Between hunting down leads, they head to Detective Mullins' apartment. Unsurprisingly, Ashburn is less than impressed with the state of the apartment. Wow, your windows are all, all boarded up. Yeah, I've got the glass. I just don't have the, you know, the window blankets. The curtains? You mean the, you mean the curtains? Whatever, okay? What is surprising, however, is her refrigerator full of illegal weapons. While Ashburn is in a state of shock and awe, Mullins gleefully highlights her pride and joy, the RPG. Oh, wow. Pride wow. and joy. This little beauty could vaporize an above-ground pool if you didn't want the pool anymore, you know? No kidding. The RPG that she, again, keeps in her fridge, in an apartment complex, full of people. You get what I'm saying here? Number 8. General Joseph Colton's House. G.I. Joe Retaliation When it comes to home-based arsenals, it's a little tough to compete with that of General Joseph Colton in G.I. Joe Retaliation. When the Joes are disbanded by a government co-opted by Cobra, they have to go underground. They eventually head to General Colton for help. Sergeant Marvin, I know who you are. Then you know why I'm here. Fortunately, his house is stocked with enough guns to supply a small army. Every corner of Colton's home hides yet another goodie that goes boom. His kitchen cabinets all have false compartments filled with guns and ammo. Even his fruit basket hides some grenades under the bananas. Unfortunately for Cobra, Colton thinks that lead is part of a well-balanced diet. Number 7. The Irish Gun Store. The Boondock Saints. The McManus brothers Connor and Murphy believe they're on a mission from God to eliminate wicked men in their hometown of Boston. The pair of holy vigilantes can't take out the mob empty-handed, though. Like a video game, they take the loot from their kills to an underground Irish gun dealer to stock up. As they browse through and pick their weapons of choice, Connor insists they pick up rope. Murphy doesn't get it, but relents to the idea. I'll get my stupid rope. I'll get it. Wouldn't you know it? The rope ends up coming in handy. Number 6. The Smith Family's Secret Stashes – Mr. and Mrs. Smith Keeping secrets from your spouse isn't usually seen as a good sign in a marriage. You might make an exception if you both happen to be assassins. Problems could arise if you're contracted to take each other out, like Brad Pitt's and Angelina Jolie's characters in this film. Their home becomes a war zone as each killer taps into their hidden stash. Brad Pitt's character hides his arsenal in the garage, while Angelina Jolie's guns are hidden in the kitchen. Though the pair eventually team up to fight for each other against their respective agencies, their home gets destroyed in the process. Lay across my big brass bed. <laughs> Number 5. Sarah's Underground Weapons Bunker Terminator 2 – Judgment Day after Sarah Connor is rescued from a psychiatric hospital by her son and the T-800, the trio lay low by getting as far away from the city as possible. They eventually end up in a plot of desert land Sarah lived at some point in the past. I just came for my stuff. I need clothes, food, and one of your trucks. While gathering supplies and her belongings, she tasks John and the T-800 with rounding up weapons. In an underground bunker, we see that Sarah has no shortage of weapons. As the Terminator inspects the goodies before it, it's not long before it spots the minigun. Even though it's an unfeeling machine, the T-800 can't help but crack a smile when picking it up. That's definitely you. Number 4. The Continental, Rome Sommelier, John Wick Chapter 2 In the world of John Wick, the Continental is a series of upscale hotels spread around the globe and can provide a guest with anything they need. 
In John Wick Chapter 2, John is forced to head to Rome to kill a powerful gangster in order to fulfill a debt. He heads straight to the Continental. There, he meets with the hotel's sommelier. Good afternoon, Mr. Wick. It's been a long time. I'd like it tasting. At the Continental, though, a sommelier doesn't deal in wine. He provides John with enough ordnance to take on an entire militia, which of course, John eventually does. He painstakingly chooses his array of weapons, using every single one over the course of the film, down to his small knife. The finest cutlery, all freshly stoned. Number 3. The Continental Cash John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum All versions of the Continental Hotel are presumably well stocked with firepower. It's hard to imagine, though, any being as well appointed as the Continental New York. This Continental is run by Winston, a mischievous businessman with a pension for bending the rules. Our service is still off limits to me. Under the circumstances, your privileges are reinstated immediately. What do you need? Guns. Lots of guns. His armory is stocked with enough firepower to take on literal busloads of henchmen. This comes to pass for John Wick and Winston's number two, Sharon, when they face down mercenaries and a strike team of literal ninjas. I know you'll do the Continental proud. I'll see you soon, sir. And you, Jonathan, do what you do best. What's that? Hunt. The pair return to the armory several times before the threat is fully neutralized. Number two, Bird Gummer's Rec Room, Tremors. In this comedy monster movie, a tiny desert town in Nevada is beset by ancient subterranean man-eating worms. Nicknamed Graboids, they begin picking the residents off one by one. When Kevin Bacon's Val spots one heading towards the Gummer's place, he tries to warn them to get out of their basement and on the roof. We don't see anything, Val. Now what the hell are you talking about? Over. Bert! They're under the ground! They're under the ground! They can dig like a son of a bitch! Big monster! Underground! Now get out! The Gummers are completely taken by surprise when the Graboid bursts through the wall. Little did it know who it was dealing with, as we see the basement is stocked with weapons galore, and the Gummers aren't shy about using their arsenal. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Virtual Stock Room – The Matrix In The Matrix films, Morpheus and his crew of human rebels are limited only by their imaginations. When they enter the Matrix, they do so via a construct room, a loading area where they can equip themselves with virtual objects. After Morpheus is kidnapped, Neo decides to rescue him in a daring mission. Morpheus believed something, and he was ready to give his life for what he believed. I understand that now. That's why I have to go. Why? Because I believe in something. What? I believe I can bring him back. Before he and Trinity set out, they need guns. Lots of guns. Fortunately, the construct room provides rows of weapons literally stretching into infinity. Neo. No one has ever done anything like this. That's why it's going to work. Every firearm known to man is available to the pair. They cover every available inch of body space with guns and use every single one. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.